Hey Virgo, <laughs> welcome back. It's your weekend, yay! Your weekend reading, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you want a personal reading, you guys, I am running a special until October 31st. Okay, so 25% percent discount off of my regular price readings all right anyway let's get into your readings see what the messages are for your weekend it's um yeah happy halloween you guys i know it's coming up i know wait i don't even know what today is hold on let me just check okay yes so october 25th through the 27th yeah but i'll see you next week okay so let's take a look here and see what your messages are. Don't forget to smash that like button, you guys. It takes just a second to hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, you enjoy my channel. I am here Monday through Sunday through Thursday. I upload 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right, Virgo. Okay, so starting with heartbroken. Someone is deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving, despair. There's a breakup. Okay, you also have grounding, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance. You have poker face, taking a chance, not showing your hand. You have addiction, obsession, restraint. Okay, let's see, and an old school, outdated thinking. Okay, so there is an energy of some kind of a breakup here. And it looks like somebody is trying to be secure and not show um, that they're hurting. Okay, there is um, some conditioning that happened in a relationship that somebody is trying to kind of see things differently. You know, um, conditioning in a relationship by a partner is usually done by someone who's very controlling. And that person is kind of like, um, they do it to soften you so that you will become compliant, okay? So I kind of feel like that's a message here. And um, this is all outdated. This is like, I feel like there was someone who was very controlling or um, obsessed in some way. So, you know, there, it's just kind of like, all right, hold on a minute. Something's over. Somebody's reorient, reorienting themselves back to, um, I don't know, earth <laughs> reality after being conditioned or dealing with some very toxic type of message. Okay. And I'm just going to speak on this a little here before we get into more of like what to look forward to your weekend. All right. Let me take a look here. I feel like, Virgo, if this was you, you're growing from something that's ended here. You're reconditioning yourself, perhaps, or making yourself more grounded and stable. All right, let me see here. Okay, yeah, action and change. So, you know, Virgo, I, I do kind of feel like you're on some kind of new trajectory or new path after some kind of separation uh, or healing a broken heart now for some of you this this might be something where there's a breakup that happens over the weekend you're just like yeah i'm hurt but i'm not showing my face it's a poker face i'm not showing that i'm hurt i'm re-establishing myself right for others this might have happened already and you're still working on that new path cancer could have been with a cancer but nine of cups here right so this feels to me like a, like a buffet. You know, you go to the buffet and you have so much to choose from. You can have, you, you just pay whatever you pay, you bring your plate and you just pick away whatever you like. These are like having, this is like a buffet of choices in your life going forward. I don't know. I kind of feel like that's exciting for you because there must have been some kind of controlling issue um, or... Just this sense of not being, a, the lack of freedom. I'm hearing you, maybe there was a lack of freedom. Yeah, possession and control. So somebody here was very controlling in a relationship, very possessive, holding on tight, uh, wanting you to stay where you are. Okay. 
Let's see. Not wanting to let you go. Hmm. Well, there's a the death card. Scorpio energy. This is ended. You're transforming. You're changing. This is wonderful. Good for you. Yep, you broke free. This is freedom, right? So this is breaking free from a very difficult relationship. Actually, now let's take a look at the other person. Could be an Aquarius. This this change, this transformation, this thing that you that you went through or that you're going through, is actually um, it's going to change everything in your life. You have options. You have paths before you. You have a new beginning happening here. Okay, so you already know that. Or some of you might be in this position of like, how do you get into that place in your life? And I feel like because, I mean, Virgos are just not to be controlled. The Virgos just do not comply. <laughs> I mean, yeah, generally, not, not in these cases. Virgos are mutable energy. Um, and if you are, if you are complying, you're not really being in your full mutable energy because mutable energy is changeable energy. It's not mute as in quiet, don't say anything. Mutable energy is shape shifting. It's it's switching out. It's it's changing like the seasons. That's why Virgo's in September because of the fall season. It's the changing of the season. All the mutable signs. Um, are they fall on the changing of the season like Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini. They're all they all fall on the seasonal changes. Fixed energies, fixed signs, they all fall in the center of the season, like Leo, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and mm, Scorpio. They are non-budgers. They're non-budgers. They, they're fixed. Fixed. So maybe that was who your connection was with. They don't let go. They don't progress and move forward. They just keep, they try, they don't like change. They're not comfortable with change. They want everything to be exactly the way it is all the time. Very routine. And then you have the cardinal signs, which are at the very beginning of the new season. Okay. All right, anyway, now that you got a little lesson here, <laughs> look up the um, quadruplicities, okay? Look up the quadruplicities so you can better understand more of your sign, your your zodiac, okay? So yeah, some kind of heartbreak. Something has ended. You're ending something or you're walking away from someone that ended it with you and you're making these huge shifts. And, you know, for a lot of Virgos, I mean... Believe it or not, Virgo, and I'm going to tell you this, and you might not realize it, but for the Virgos and the mutable energies, they get over breakups a lot easier. They manage them a lot easier than all of the other signs. The Geminis, the Pisces, the Virgos, and the Sag Sagittarians, because they're adaptable. So if you're having a hard time, there might be some other afflictions in your chart or, or other things going on, but for the most part, the mutable signs generally are like, hmm, okay, it's not going to be long before you are on to the next. You know what I mean, Virgo? And the next could be somebody else or the next could be a new project or uh, starting something new or beginning new new things in your life. Even changing jobs, Virgo will just blend right into the next, you know? So, all right. Nine of Swords here. So we were looking at the other person. So you're a person. Um, they have a lot of anxiety. Whoever this breakup is with. Um, there's a lot of stress at this time. Or, or like over this weekend, I should say. Well, starting the weekend. Um, I feel like they are... They're like a little depressed. Or they're going through some grief. Um... Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. I feel like this person is thinking about reaching out to you. Or at least they will be after something ends. Um, but it's not a lot. There's also this kind of decision. I feel like this person, I don't know if they're self-reflecting or not, but they didn't give enough and they know that. They were giving breadcrumbs. The Six of Pentacles is my breadcrumbs card. They were breadcrumbing. 
and they might have had a couple of other options or another option and something ended but here they are with the ace of cups and a card fell and the king of cups who could have a connection with them a water sign cancer scorpio pisces most likely if it's a fixed sign it'll be scorpio um i feel like this person want, wants to have a new start with you here okay after some kind of split all right but i also feel like this person is you know it, it's funny because the ace of pet the ace of cups is always like um a potential it's always a start i feel like this person always starts but they, no, they don't finish this person they start but they don't finish it's always at the start it's always standing at the starting gate, waiting for the gun to pop off and the gate to open to go forward and progress around the track. No, this person, the, the gun doesn't go off with this person. It's more like, get ready, but I'll let you know when it's time for us to go forward. We're not going forward until I say. It's very dictatorship-like, okay? Keeping you, perhaps, wanting you to just kind of be in this one position. A lot of breadcrumbing. Um with this person but the way they their energy is towards you they want to have a new they want to start again and it's like i don't know how many times you guys have started and stopped but um if that's the case in your relationship it seems to still be the case with this person okay uh i just want to tell you they're surprised that you are that you're it looks like are you going quiet perhaps over the weekend this person is kind of surprised i don't know what that means they're also doing yeah so at first i was like i don't know if they're self-reflecting but i do think they are and they're self-reflecting about you with the hermit they only offered you this page of pentacles here like that's really i feel like maybe they were selfish generally the king of cups in the upright is not selfish at all it's like quite the opposite they're usually quite nurturing and supportive and giving and have empathy hmm. yeah they're gonna make an offer there's some kind of message coming in from them you might hear from them virgo about a commitment about wanting to get into a committed relationship with you there's you but you have a very positive energy now you're done it looks like you're done here virgo with the ten of wands this is exhausting you want to be happy okay so you know if you're done you're done if you're not you want to talk to this person i feel like you're going to hear from them possibly over the weekend in regards to um something that's ending so if it's already ended yeah you'll hear from them if you're if you're gonna end it over the weekend i feel like they're gonna try to not let you do that because there's a very controlling energy I, I will say the person who has control issues i don't know if they're a narc or anything but they have control issues they could be just high on the you know the nurse they could have a lot of high narcissistic traits they don't have to be like full-fledged but um, i mean everybody's got them but they could pretty much be tipping the scale a little bit with that control and possession all right messages of love forgiveness forgive yourself or another will help you move forward Okay, trust your gut, Virgo. Trust your intuition when it comes to this person. If you feel like the right relationship is just strictly sexual or just passionate but not enduring, if that's like what your intuition is telling you for you to trust that, your true love is already a part of your life right now, Virgo. Huh, who's that? You have someone in your life or in your periphery that is your actual true love. I don't feel like this person's your true love. Huh, that's interesting. There's someone in your life, Virgo, who is your true love that maybe you don't realize it. They might not realize it either. But that, oh my gosh, yeah, you got a new love. Huh. I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you. Um, oh, okay, they're giving me a phrase. 
oh no, I'm losing it. Sometimes they come in like like these Max Hedger messages and they like they glitch. <laughs> um, it's kind of like you're you're looking in the wrong direction. I'm over here. This this person that's already part of your life to be is supposed to be your your true love. They're like right under your nose is what I'm hearing. They're right under your nose. So, oh, I don't know, maybe you're a dentist <laughs> or surgeon <laughs> where someone kind of, I don't know, sitting down or something. They're right under your nose. They're, they're, okay. All right. Do you want to find out more about this, you guys? Do you want to find out who this is? Who is this person that's already a part of your life, Virgo? Let's look. <laughs> Who is this person that's right under your nose, Virgo? Show Virgo, please. Who's the person that's already a part of their life? It's your, it's your love. Your true love. Let's see. Okay. Well, this fell in the reverse. Okay, so I want to tell you. All right, this person, they come across as very... Um, original and very creative you'll know them by that okay if if because i'm trying like i don't know specifically and we'll pull some names and stuff to see if it shows up um but they're they're kind of rebellious they're they, they have a rebel a rebel streak they're very original and they're very creative all right let me just tell you that okay they they um I don't want to say they buck authority, but they buck the system. They're, they're original thinkers. And they just don't follow the rules. Like, like I mean, I, I, f I don't feel like they get pulled over for speeding tickets all the time. They're not like freaking crazy. But they just, they, they have their own thoughts and their own beliefs. Okay. What else, Spirit, can you tell Virgo about this? This true love that's already here, a part of their life. Ooh, ooh, the lovers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we could have someone on the cusp of Gemini and Taurus. So that would be... Um, would be it would be Taurus, Gemini. So it would be like the, the end of May. Um, their birthday would be somewhere around like... I want to say like... May 21st through like the 25th or 26th. Okay. Possibly. Or they could be straight up Taurus or straight up Gemini. Uh, all right. you For some of you, you are in some kind of partnership or contract with this person business-wise. Either you work for them and they work for you. I'm hearing that also. Um, this could be someone at your pool. <laughs> if you go to the pool. <laughs> if you go swimming or you sit in the sauna at the gym or you see them somewhere like at the beach there's a connection at the beach or they might live I feel like they live where there's water but I feel like maybe you do too well some of you someone here might live near water okay they're divorced they were married or they are separated getting a divorce or they have recently or they've had a long-term relationship but it ended okay what else Virgo okay some of you know this person from the summer being at like um, if you go to a boardwalk at the beach where there's like roller coasters, they're giving me roller coasters and like a pier. Their their name might be Pierre, or Peter, or Pierre, too. Um, this okay. So this person, there's also they're telling me. Um, all right, they're giving me this the word re, the phrase reproductive hormones. So they could be, um, they have like, um, 
an imbalance. I don't know how you would know that. Maybe you're, maybe you work in medicine or something. You might know it that way. Um, but they could be going through the change also. And if it's a male, this male just recently had, um, an exam down there. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to know that. <laughs> it's like, Oh, hey, yeah, how you doing? Oh, good. I just had my balls felt. Yeah, it was wonderful. How's everything with you? <laughs> I just had a finger up my butt. It was fan freaking tastic. How's how have you been? How are the kids? <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta stop. The messages just, just come out, and if you are like resonating with this, I'm kicking you off my channel because then you're just as, we have, there's only room for one crazy here. Okay. You know, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like some hospital stuff going on. So this reading went from totally serious to like who gives an F. I feel like this this is <laughs> there's a broken arm and like a cast. There's an injury. <laughs> Probably because this person's so rebellious. They're I feel like they get like so they're giving me like the energy of like those David Lee Roth vibes, you know how like he's was wild and crazy? It's kind of like that, but not so crazy that they're like completely irresponsible because I feel like they're older, you know, like, um, but still kind of wild, a little bit of a wild at heart, wild heart type of person. And they, they get injured. Maybe it's their job. They might do something like manual labor and they get injured a lot. All right, let me see. They're also telling me... Um, an accountant okay now some of you it's it's gonna be an earth sign for sure masculine or feminine um okay i'm just hearing like an electrician or an electrical engineer someone that works with like light <laughs> could be a light worker for some of you I'm also picking up, okay, so there's a lot of different messages, and it might not be all the same person, okay? For some of you, it's like I'm trying to give you some messages that are coming out that could help you identify in, in, in like, particular for you, like, more specifically for you, but now they're giving me um, something to do with baseball, like a batter or... Um, someone who maybe does the concessions or um is like an umpire it's connection to like that in that sports industry or, or an arena of some sort all right for some of you this is someone from your childhood or you will know them by they have little kids they have two boy and a girl okay what else Oh yeah, this is my baseball card. So we're keeping it real simple here and specific. Um, they could be a coach also. They might coach some kind of sport, I feel. Or they teach, like they coach kids at some kind of sport. Okay, so I feel like if any of that resonates for you, at least a little bit, this person is like already part of your life they may not be like you you might just see them and not have a personal relationship with them or you might okay but i feel like they're like are you gonna find out i feel like you will let me just ask is virgo like is virgo gonna find out about this yeah you are because i just told you is virgo gonna find out about this person over the weekend or, or realize or this person gonna approach over this weekend fire energy yes oh that's that's pretty amazing yeah so you might hear from them and some of you listen I, I could just feel it now like you're sitting on your uh on your deck outside and the phone rings and it's your neighbor down the street this is an it like a an image a moving image they're giving me it's like your neighbor down the street is calling and asking if you want to donate to something. And you're just like, oh. Or maybe they just text you. Or they come to your door. 
yeah, I'm trying to raise money. My kid's trying to raise money or, you know, we're, we're raising money for an election or for a sports team or, you know, anything, anything, anything. And it's not someone that you have had your eye on or you even thought about. It doesn't have to be that specific, but it's kind of like your energy is like very nonchalant because you don't feel any kind of connection with this person. There's no major sparks flying, but it's only because of this timing. And it has a lot to do with the fact that something is ending or has ended from a previous relationship that probably um, hijacked your your mind and your heart and there really wasn't even any opportunity for a new beginning to come in and infiltrate your life you know so I guess it, I guess the message that you know they're trying to tell you is that the person you're meant to be with is already in your life but I'm going to ask, okay, I just have to ask when, like for sure, is there going to be a coming together? Because we're looking at the next 30 days of this person, really like you and them, seriously coming together. Come on. Virgo, November 19th, I'm hearing, okay, November 19th, I'm going to save these, I'm not going to put these out yet, November 19th, that's going to be a Tuesday, and it's going to be right before Thanksgiving, hmm, so there might be like um, getting together for, uh, if you're in the U.S., um, they, Thanksgiving holiday or vacation, you're going to hear from them or see them. Let's see if we can get some Chinese signs. Chinese signs for Virgo. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Who are, who, what are their Chinese signs? Okay, born in the year of the rabbit, the year of the horse, the rooster, and these could be you, the pig, the dragon, the ox, the dog, and the rat. Gosh, these kind of feel like they're I mean, a little bit the same as yesterday. All right, let's see. Let's get some cosmic insights and see what else you need to know here, Virgo. Okay, yeah, there's a divorce or a breakup. Yeah, and this is actually a good thing. It's a blessing. Some kind of split up, break up, divorce, so that you can be in connection with the real, true love of your life. An earth sign. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Now listen, if you had, if you're breaking up with an earth sign, and then you're walking into a connection with an earth sign, that's fine. Everybody's different. Remember that. Just because we're all one sign doesn't make us all exact replicas of each other. So um, either there's a breakup with an earth sign. Like it's, it might have already happened for some of you or it will or divorce. But then there is a possibility of an earth sign coming into your life or, well, technically it's already in your life. All right. So no, it's not the right time. Yeah, I kind of feel like because you're going through some kind of shift here and reconditioning your mind, um, it is not spirit saying, like, finish what you start. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Finish something out before you start over is what I'm hearing. Let, just let stuff play out, right? And also, um, your pets or a pet is significant over this weekend. You could be getting a new pet. Or just, I think that, I think animals are very healing. They're emotionally healing. So if you're going through something and your pet's around, can be very healing for you if you latch on to them during, um, what do they call those emotional, um, those people who get animals, I forget what they're called, emotional 
You know what I mean? Like they bring dogs into like nursing homes or with children. I forget the term. I can't remember what it's called. Emotional something pet, right? Animal. Not a guard dog or, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Leave it in the comment. I'm sure you guys know. Or put it in the chat. I forget the term. Okay. Yeah, there might be some health issues going on for you over this weekend. And, and this is like... You might be having some anxiety, your heart racing, going through some kind of shift and change. Give it time, Virgo. Just go, breathe, Virgo. That's what I feel. Just breathe. Just breathe through this situation. Some of you, you're going through this pregnant. And some of you, that's the true love of your life is this child that hasn't been born yet. Or you might be thinking that you don't want to keep a child, but this child is going to be your true love of your life, Virgo, and bring you the greatest love of all. The greatest love of all. Very Whitney. It's happening to me. I don't know. That's a message for someone. Or maybe that's a connection that you have with someone who's going through this too. But the other thing, the other thing, if there's a pregnancy too, um, there might be some health issues with that. Um, and I, they're saying let things flow. And I feel like this might have something to do with like water leaking or a very low quadrant of amniotic fluid. But I don't feel like it's serious. I feel like that's something that's monitored. You know, you'd be okay. Or someone will be okay. I know not all of my people are at the age of pregnancies. We're, we all pass that. Oh, yes, we, we are all done up here. Up in here. We are all done. Okay. So you have, yes, luck is on your side, Virgo. Yeah, some of you are going to change residence. Or they might be moving in with someone as well. Or maybe buying a home. Yeah, seems like it's a, if that's something that you wanted, I mean, luck is in your favor with that. Okay, and you have someone spying on you. Someone's got their eye on you, Virgo. You and some of you are just doing some research. You're just learning. That's a typical Virgo thing. Virgo's always studying. Virgos are so scholar, scholarly. Like, I mean, I don't even care if they're not in college or anything. Virgos are always learning. They love to learn. I can't tell you how many videos I've watched on uh, this guy. He's He took these old wooden pallets. And he built a freaking house out of him in the woods. <laughs> it was like an hour long. <laughs> I'm just like laying there chewing on some pistachios. I'm like, look at this. How's he doing this? Oh, so if it ever happens that I need to build a wooden house out of wooden pallets, I know how to freaking do it, okay? Because I have just learned. And I think that's like a Virgo thing. Like Virgos will go down the rabbit hole. With, one minute they'll start with like how to squeeze lemons. And the next is like how to give ear piercings to an elephant. Virgos would just go down the rabbit hole and learn as much as they can. I love that about us. <laughs> All right, you got to Yeah, you do have a, a narc in your life who's giving you challenges. Right? They could just they don't have to be like, so listen, I know a couple of people complained. Um someone I feel like someone in the chat was like Hurt people, hurt people. Look, I got no sympathy for these people. If you want to have sympathy or empathy, that's why you got abused with narcs. I have no empathy for them people. No, 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 I don't give a shit. Lots of people come through traumatic childhoods and stuff. And they don't turn out to be sociopaths. And they don't abuse people. Like, you got some serious issues. You need to get some freaking therapy. I do not have empathy for that. Absolutely not. I have empathy for children because they're innocent have empathy for the elderly, have empathy for animals, you know, have empathy for people who are hurting, but I don't have empathy for these narcs. So, you know, yeah, hurt people do hurt people, but that's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. There should be, there's no excuse for these people. Let me go on a tangent. Let me tell you, there's no, there's no, there's no empathy for the narcs. You could forgive, but that's for you. Too many people out here in the world are not telling people that they're stupid. Too many people out here in the world are just being martyrs. 
and not saying, you know what, you're an asshole. Step off. Because we all want to be like some kind of savior for people. We want to be a savior. Do you really want to be that? Do you want to go around trying to save everybody? Heal the world? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> save yourself, MFR. Save yourself. And be there because you can't help other people if you're not going to help yourself. And give it to people who are like really needing it. Not people who take advantage of you. No sympathy for these people. So if you come in my chat and you're like... Well, listen, everybody's got narcissistic traits, and some are really, really high on the spectrum of narcissism, okay? And then you got your DSM narcs who actually need an official diagnosis, but they'll never get generally because they don't often go into therapy because they don't think anything's wrong with them. Or they, you know, I guess they can't face themselves because they're hurt. Yeah, they're hurt, but you know something? Sometimes it's way past that point that they can't, there's, they could be very self-effacing and they could be very manipulative and take you down the rabbit hole. You know, I mean, you're just, it's wolf in sheep's clothing energy. And if you're on the end of trying to help this person and you're dealing with this type of person or you're being all forgiving, you got some kind of Jesus Christ savior thing going on, I'm telling you right now, you're not that powerful and they will take their sheep costume off and gnarl you to death. I know it's gory, but it's almost Halloween. So what do you want? Okay. You got an arc around you. You need to detach from them. In whatever way you can, if not completely block or cut them off. Confession. Someone has something to tell you, Virgo. Remember that Mercury retrograde? Virgo? Well, that's when I fell in love with you. <laughs> I was going to commit to you. I still want to. During the Mer So when was the Mercury retrograde, you guys? Like August, right? I feel like it was August. Or was it July? I can't remember. I'll be damned. But anyway, I feel like during this period, either someone co confessed to you that they wanted to be in a committed relationship and then something ended, perhaps, or... They were thinking it, but they didn't say anything. And now they're probably going to say something. Or maybe at the next Mercury retrograde, which is, hold on. Let's have a little lesson. I need to get, like, keep it all up so I can see it. Because I find myself often talking about this stuff. Mercury retrograde. Yeah, it was in August, right? It was the end of August, wasn't it? What the hell is this? Um, Mercury retrograde was, yeah, oh, I was in the middle of August. Yeah, it was all of August. Holy, August 4th to the 27th. So during that time, somebody realized that they wanted to um, get serious with you. Okay. Are they with you now? What are they doing? Where are they? Let's see. The next one isn't November. You guys, so you might hear about this in November. Um, now, I hope it's not your narc, because if it is, well, they shouldn't be able to get a contact you, contact you, because it'll just be a scam. Yeah, November 25th, so the end of November is the beginning of the new retrograde. Okay, so keep your head on a swivel, please. Anything else for Virgo? All right, there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, significant over this weekend. Oh, and a fire sign. Could be some friends. Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh, you got a vacation plan, Virgo? Are you going somewhere with some of your your guy pals or your, your gal pals? Uh, uh, planning a vacation or going somewhere with a couple of people? Or meeting them? Or just discussing it? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, that's the energy. It does say let go, but I feel like it's at first I thought let's go. But yeah, let go. I mean, let go, man. Go, go have fun. Go do your thing. Make plans for your vacation. I told my mom just yesterday, I was like, I'm coming for Thanksgiving vacation. I'm just going to stay with you for the whole vacation, which I don't normally do. But um, she's my best friend. 
So I'm going to go hang out with my mom. <laughs> All right, what else? Do we have anything else? Let's just drop a couple of um, Amira's cards and see what else. Okay, spiritual growth over this weekend. Amazing learning, expanding the soul. Oh, and I'm going to pull some money cards too right after this so we can see what's going on with your finances. You got spiritual growth over this weekend. Fantastic. Twin flame energy. Hmm. Your twin flame is having some spiritual growth this weekend. And they've decided they want to be in an open relationship. That's not spiritual growth. <laughs> your spiritual growth might realize that your twin flame just... It was just a cabin. What am I making up words? It was just a casual relationship. Non-commitment. That's not your twin. I mean, maybe you learn from that though. Twin flame, yeah, it's, it's not always all, you know, it doesn't mean that, oh, we're going to be together, but there's definitely lessons. So some of you might have someone who is a twin flame where you're growing from that, you're expanding, you're learning from that, that, you know, that it was just a, a, a very casual, non-committal relationship. There might be something there. Some of you might have thought you were in... I don't know how this happens, but, or happened, but some of you might have thought you were in something more serious than it was. And you're realizing that over this weekend. I mean, it could have been someone you thought was your twin flame. Don't gaslight yourself. They could just not be ready. Do you understand? And don't wait for them either. If someone's not present, the, the goal in life, I feel, is to be mindful and present of your current surroundings and life as it is right now, because all we have is right this moment. Truly, me sitting here talking to you is real life. Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. Anything in the future, anything in the past, you got one foot in the future and one foot in the past, then you're pissing on today. Today is all that matters. So look around. Where are you? Are you where you, you want to be? Is this all that you hoped where you're at? Are you okay? Are you content? Are you struggling? Are you wanting more? Are you learning? Or have you become the ice queen or the ice king? The bitter, divorced mother, father who has extreme discernment and is not happy did you become the ice queen so that you stuck your, you put chains around your heart? It's cold out there, Virgo. You're actually a true gem. True gem. You're a true gem, Virgo. You're protecting that true gem heart of your heart of yours. I know you are. Because it's very valuable what's inside there. And that's fine. But don't stay like that. You gotta melt. Yeah, past love, past, a past love situation or a past lover. Some kind of scar got left. This could have been 40 years ago, 30 years ago. Maybe you're finally leaving your partner after 60 years. Whomever it is. Professional courting male or female or someone in a uniform it was your past person. Could have been. You had a home with them. I'm also picking up uh, someone seeing her going like to open houses or going around with a realtor this weekend. Or you're a realtor showing some houses this weekend. And don't forget, you got a new love thing. Like you do, Virgo. I mean, I know this reading's like up and down. It's very roller coastery, but that's all right. We like to touch on everything. Let's just look at money real quick. And then I'm going to do the charms and the letters here. Okay, people skills. Nice. Look at this pineapple with um, sunglasses. You have a flair for working well with others. You could be a diplomat, counselor, salesperson, or head of a company. You have great people skills. And if you don't, and that's the kind of work you do, it wouldn't hurt you to take some people skills courses. You might be very task-oriented. 
right? Sometimes, so some people are either like, they're totally like they're people oriented. They just, they don't like to be in routine. They just want to be around people and have a good time. And, you know, they're just very good people skills, know how to be with people. And then there's people who are just very task oriented. They'd rather organize their junk drawer than go to a party. That's fine. And then there's people who have a little bit of both, right? I personally have a little bit of both. I'm, I'm a cusp. I'm such a cusp. It's crazy. Like my Virgo side is very task oriented, very routine. Everything's got to be the same. But then my Leo side is like, where the party? Where's everybody at? <laughs> so I can go back and forth with it. You know, so if you're not a people skill person or not a people oriented person, you know, it wouldn't hurt you to get some people skills. If you're in, in a job or a career or a position that requires you to be with people all the time, if, if that's not the case, I can tell you what, if you're working in sales, you got to have good people skills. You're some, you got to have some. I've worked in sales my entire life, and I can honestly tell you, if there's one thing that people want more than anything, then the top, in my opinion, in my experience, the top thing that people want from a salesperson or someone that's, you know, they're trying to get something from is to be acknowledged for who they are. That's a people skill, right? To become interested in them. Gestures. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others, Virgo, and you will receive recognition too. Yeah, there you go. There's your people skills. So if you work in with sales or you're a diplomat, counselor, head of a company, people don't remember what you do for them. They remember how you make them feel. And if someone makes you feel bad, you're likely not going to go back to them, right? But if they make you feel good on a consistent basis, and they always have good positive things to say, and it's not fake, but it's real, then those gestures reap rewards, okay? They have to be sincere, you know, come from the heart. So if you're in a position of helping someone or giving someone a hand, that's part of your, your career, uh, giving deserved praise, not like don't overkill. Don't ask kiss. Find that sweet spot. Taking steps. Action is key to getting where you need to go. You can't wait around, Virgo. Take a step in any direction to get unstuck and find opportunities. Opportunities are everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, now you have ups and downs. And initially I just saw um, something is screaming to me about uh, the postal service or delivery like uh, UPS or FedEx or the post office or, you know, mail, email, communications, something in, in, to do with work. And it says your work has potential for both advancement and stagnation. See if there's hope, but allow yourself to move on if needed. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why that was coming to me. All right. Let's get into the charms. Okay. Most significant over the weekend, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, and Aries. Hope you guys are able to see the charms here. All right. Let's see. So we have age 51. 47, 42, we have the year 1984, August 29, 31, or the 31st, 77, 67, 56, 32, 64, 80, September 11th, September 2nd, September 21st, September 2nd again, also September 22nd. All right. So February and April next year, February, March, and April next year will be very significant to you. It will be life-changing, they're saying. Also September 17th. Okay, someone's going to a barbecue this weekend. I'm hearing Tanner, Tanner. 
So somebody, or a nickname Taz, somebody could be going to a tanning salon or someone's last name, our first name is Tanner. Someone's in an RV or buying an RV. Uh, last name Cobb, C-O-B-B, Cobb. I'm hearing Gil or Giles. Chad. Someone pours tar, like that's their job. They tar. I don't know what that means, like tar. I guess like on a road, a paver. Dobbins or Dobby. Okay. Burke. These names are so crazy. Laird. Dora. Somebody has di diverticulitis. Okay. Sven. Sven. It's a name. Sven. Somebody has koi fish. Okay. So they gave me a Y. It was a Z, I think. Um. All right. So we have the initial L. There's a D. The letter V. T, E, like Edward, Elaine, Elizabeth, Elisha, C. I'm hearing Lenny or Leonard. Did I ever say that? Roy, you have the initial R, Ralph. You have an I. Is Ishmael? Ishmael Ismail. We have an O. Zoe. Have an I. I'm hearing Erica or Aaron. We have the letter B, there's a Q and also an S, and the letter I again. So there's two I's in someone's name, like Letitia. Is that two I's? I think Letitia, I'm hearing. All right, let's get some charms. All right, namaste, Virgo, namaste. Okay, Virgo, so expect a piece of mail coming in over this weekend. Um, it's going to be in a dark envelope. It's going to be significant to you. You also have a dragon here, so you could be born in the year of the dragon, or a dragon represents something very significant to you, or will. I can't show you because I can't zoom in on this. Maybe you're going to watch a show. House of the Dragon? Could be. All right. We got a puppy print here. Puppy print. Oh, I'm just seeing. Okay, they're just showing me. You know those dog cookies that they have in like the dog, the animal stores? Like PetSmart or something? You go in. They're always on the counter. And they look like they have icing on them. They look delicious. But they're it's dog food. Right? So I'm hearing some of you. Stop feeding your animals processed dog food. Start giving them real food. Like real meat. Not that not not processed dog food. Give them real meat, real vegetables, like this human food. You know, greens. That's what I'm hearing for their health is they will live long. Maybe you already do that. Take the bones out, I feel. Don't give them like small bones off. Like don't give them a chicken leg or something like that. Like take the meat off, but give them real meat, real food. They need that. There's something about this processed stuff is very unhealthy for, for animals. Don't even buy it. You know, like make a, make a plate of leftovers or something after you eat it and give it to your dog. Don't feed them from the table unless you, I don't care. Do whatever the hell you want. Like why do I care? And you also have um cherries oh here we're back with the testes and the balls again okay so it's whatever so we've got some cherries here you could live in an area cherry street uh cherry mountain um you have a cherry scent in your car or maybe you're eating cherries or doing something with some fruits cherry very significant for you in this reading all right so we're done 
Have a great weekend, you guys. Um, if you didn't get a chance to listen to the VIP reading for the members only that was uploaded yesterday, go check that out. It's already there. If you're not a member of the channel, you can upgrade to the $9.99 a month and you get the bonus content. Or you could just become a member of channel $2.99, get all the badges and all that cool stuff. Um, yeah, personal readings, good until, geez, we're almost next week next Thursday. So one week left for the specials. Thanks everybody for booking. And I did get a couple of gifts from two people that I want to say thank you to. A quick shout out. We got the Light Sears Tarot. So I'll be checking this out and using that soon. And we received the Burning Heart Love Oracle. Okay. So from Mandy. Mandy says, thanks for reading. I don't know if you remember, but I gave a super thanks in January because you foresaw a gas leak. And I do remember this, Mandy. That happened the next night and saved us. Oh, I hope this helps someone else from Mandy. And I'm not going to, sorry, I'll blur out your email address. But anyway, Mandy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for purchasing the gifts. And I actually don't know. I'm trying to see here because there were there's two. So if you guys do purchase something from me, make sure you send your email and the name, uh, your name, so that I can um, I can thank you. Also, there's there's like an issue with third party sellers right now. It's a it's a YouTube thing. So if you're trying to purchase something, of course, it just all of a sudden happens. I never had a wish list out there in my life. But as soon as it happens now, you or Amazon's having a problem with their third party sellers. So I don't know what's going on. They're trying to fix it. So don't be discouraged. But I feel like I don't, there's two, one on the 19th. So there was, I think, Mandy, I'm not sure if you sent me one or two. But I think you only sent one and somebody else, I think Mandy sent the Light Sears Tarot and somebody else sent the Burning Heart Love Oracle, but I don't know who it is. So if, if, if so whoever you are, leave a comment in the description box below or, sh or in the comment section below, excuse me, or shoot me an email to confirm that it was you that sent the Burning Heart Love Oracle. We'll open these up over the weekend and check them out. Maybe I'll do an un unboxing. All right, thanks for sticking around, y'all. And I will see you guys back here on Sunday. Have a fantastic, awesome weekend. And uh, yeah, I love ya. Bye. You go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us